hopefully quick update for you to let you know what's going on. Four weeks down. This is Monday. I'm recording this starting my fifth week. Uh, what's the date? Let's see. What's the date? Monday, September 23rd. What time is it? 11.34 in the morning. Just got in the studio, did some things. Uh, quick studio update. I put up a little more sound absorption. One of the curtains is up, so hopefully that's going to help. Still feels really echoing here. I got a lot more work to do. I was thinking about trying to hang it from in the middle of the room, but that didn't seem like a good idea. But anyways, we'll keep working on that. So four weeks down. The biggest thing that I need to um, comment on is just the lack of time is still present and I just need to figure out uh, how to deal with it. Really, I think I might have mentioned this in the last video I made, but the honestly the work, what, it, what I have to do work-wise in all my classes so far and, and I think into the future really doesn't feel like a burden because it feels like the easy one of the easiest parts of this whole process for me personally because of going to art school for what I'm good at. It's not like I'm trying to learn something that I'm not good at. I'm like already good at it. So it's just a matter of applying myself and it's fun and okay and it's just what I can do. So, But the hardest part about it with with uh, the, the lifestyle that I'm in right now with trying to do as much as I can here at school, having to work still, like turns out I do have to work more than I really want to to kind of maintain what I need to survive. Uh, financial aid just didn't cover enough for me to have it so I can relax. And then my kids, being spending time with my kids, which I did this weekend. So it's just, that's important to me and just making sure I'm available for them. So. I don't like to share, it's weeks. So there's that, that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest update right now. So we'll continue on just how it feels as I record these videos um, and let you know as I go along. So we'll keep that going. So I did get my first assignment. I'll link it up in the description. Maybe do something on the screen. to do a self-portrait within 24 hours um, and so what I decided to do was just kind of video myself and make a creative hopefully create a video and the the idea of the self-portrait was to make a portion of it uh, exaggerated or like an exaggerated self-portrait and I imagine like now that it retrospectively looking at it and what I've been we've been talked about a little bit more since doing it with emails and stuff, uh, what I've been informed, you know, I think the traditional way to do it would be to like actually do a physical, like look at, you know, like a painting and go like, you know, something about my psychology or my physical attributes to exaggerate it in some way to make it more larger than life. And I sort of didn't, I sort of did that. The way that I interpreted the exaggerated part was in the process more in the fact that I was trying to, you know, record every thing I did, like be very uh, exaggerated in the nuance, I guess, or in everything I was doing. I can't think of the right word, but so I, that was one exaggerated element. There are times within it that time based, the time of things like either quicker than it would happen normally or slower than it might happen normally. So I was exaggerating time on both ends of the spectrum. And I also tried to exaggerate audio where I boosted, I, I ran the audio through some boosting uh, processing and, and tried to really bring it out so that when you listen to it, you hear everything very distinctly and very clearly. So it's like much more exaggerated than you might hear it in normal life. So those are the ways that I decided to exaggerate. Um, but then in the self-portrait aspect of it by itself, uh, just showing my life and what I'm doing more than my fit more than a physical attribute is more of like my what's going on with me right now with school home things I'm into um, what I you know like there's at the end of it there's a 
Seahawks games and other YouTube things that I'm, I'm interested in, the van life stuff. There's a lot of like nuggets living with at home with my mother and referenced like there was nobody else in the video except for me. But there's little things within it that you could see, oh, my mom's cane is in it and my, you know, things like the way my bed is and how that defines me and, you know, the Legos in my bedroom that are both mine and my kids and just different things like that. So I think within the whole thing of it, you really can get an idea of this self portrait But anyways, I'd love to hear what you think. So go watch it and let me know. Um, and then we have coming up, we have to present it to the little class we have. There's four people in my class and I have to present it as if I was presenting it to a curator. And I have no idea what that means yet because I don't know how I would do, I don't know, I have no idea how I would present this form of video to a curator. Like I say, like, I have no idea. So I'll figure that out, I'll let you know as the time goes on. If you have any thoughts, post it in the comments. And then, um, um, and then the, like, basically I, I wrote down as well, like we have to talk about the, how it's, um, the personal mythology, I'll read how my advisor or my, said, what personal mythologies are you revealing? So I kind of just explained that, like how I live, the kind of lifestyle I'm in right now, having to live with my mother, having children, you know, being busy, full life. Like, I feel like I tried to represent this idea of like, there's a lot going on, like a lot of moments, a lot of things are packed into my life right now. And try to show that, you know, in some ways, all within the constraints of first, not knowing what the continuing continuation of the assignment would be. Like I had no idea she was gonna ask these other questions when she assigned it. But then also just trying to do, like trying to think of something within 24 hours and being able to accomplish it um, with, you know, having other classes and just, just having life, you know? So that's, cause it was very strict. She was very strict about you have until, you know, it was like she assigned it at 8 p.m. You have until 8 p.m. the next day to email the final product. So, so that was, that's the 24 hour project. So I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty happy with it, but it's interesting to see, it definitely gets the, um, the juices of creativity going and the critical thinking aspect of why you're making what you're making rather than just making, uh, which is what I enjoy. It's one of the main reasons why I even here, because I like that, that critical thing that, that talking about and, you know, digesting, introspecting, just being critical about what it is you're making. Two more things that are going on right now. First is um, there's at San Diego State University, they have something called the student success fee, which is a fee that I guess is part of the tuition that we pay into. And then that allows students to then propose uh, projects or ideas or things to make, um, to get money for, to basically write a grant or get, get money for to fund it through from the student success fee. So what we're working on as the graphic design program is something called um, Design Week, which was done a few years ago by another graphic design student. And so we're, I'm trying to get that going. I'm, I've taken the lead on that. So I'm writing my first like grant proposal kind of idea. And I'm going to a meeting today to learn more about it. But um, so that is due October 1st. So that's going on. So I'm excited to learn more about that and see my brain and my ability can handle it or what I can learn about it. So uh, wish me luck on that. And then the last thing I want to talk about is right now, the, old, the one piece right now that I feel a ping of anxiety about is um, my history of graphic design class. I have a project I have to do. And the project that I decided to do is like do a documentary video about perception of graphic design. So I have to reach out to people and interview them, but I need to do it outside of, and we're gonna do some people within the sphere of San Diego State University, but I need to get outside of the sphere and ask practicing designers and people out in the world um, if I can interview them. So I need to like get that going and figure that out. So wish me luck on that as well. But okay, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thumb it up, you know, share it around with your friends if you're digging on it. And of course, my Patreon, patreon.com slash the Zim, could use your support um, so I can focus more on making stuff and not having to drive and work 
for money. I can do this for money with your support. All right, until next time, be excellent to each other. Be loving, kind, and patient with each other. Peace.